Howard gets to that Giyu with a nice chest drop. And now Quesada can be released. She's looking to play quickly to Bolden. Safety first for Thailand. They just want to get it out to safety. And rather uncharacteristic there from Thailand, who are usually very confident playing out the back. Not taking any chances. Harrison now. Looking to cause a bit of havoc inside the box. Another throw in. Sophia Harrison taking a long run up. And it's a deep one. Bolden gets a touch. Bouncing around dangerously. Bolden blocked. Thailand scrambling. They're able to play it down the line. And Kanyanat got a lose possession there. Much to her disbelief. Panya Sook, almost surprised by Giyu. Megan Vic winning that tackle. It's been a high tempo start and a real physical game between these two. And here was that throw in. The ball bouncing around dangerously inside Thailand's box. Bolden strike was blocked. Can sense a bit of unease in the defending of Thailand. Anis fouled on that aerial challenge as Peng Nam just backed into her. And again, another opportunity for Tan A to put one in the box. Yeah, this would be a chance really just to lift it into the box. You can see. As Anis just gets up there, a little push in her back. Referee deems that as dangerous play. And now this ball will just be dinked in over the top and the Philippines will chase it down and try to create a little bit of pressure in the right areas. Six at the edge of the area for the Philippines. A lot of pushing and shoving. Anis' ball is it to the far post. Harrison. Savitsky, all the way through, Giyu! Second goal for the Philippines! Right at the six yard box, Katrina Giyu! No mistake! A dream start. Again, from a set piece. Second ball by Harrison. Half cleared. Savitsky gets it in, and Giyu is right there to turn it in. Yeah, great instinctive finish, but it's all about keeping the ball in the right areas and very quick to turn it back into the box. She actually just drifted off the shoulder. She wasn't being marked. She was patient. She stayed in a good area. And then just the composure just to check, scan and screen where the goalkeeper was and slot it past the keeper. Tilna up, 20 minutes gone. Unbelievable. We talked about this game being a different one from the meeting in the group stage. It's been night and day. Katrina Giyu. Scoring a massive goal for the Philippines. And she held her nerve right in front of goal. Where many could have panicked. Not the number 21 of the Philippines. Well, the conversion rate has been incredible. Uh, we've worked hard for the opportunities that we had. You might say against Vietnam at 1-0, there were a few opportunities which were similar, which we didn't convert. But 
on the big stage in a final where you would say Thailand have been there four times. This is our first time to have that level of composure, to have that level of maturity. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. And now check, things changed a little bit. We're halfway through the first half. The coaches might make a couple of changes or perhaps they'll just keep a bit of momentum going and just limit Thailand from playing. Thailand has still not yet found their rhythm in this game. The conditions changing at the Rizal Memorial Stadium as a slight drizzle is falling onto the pitch now. Sarah, or rather that was Quesada. Anis spreading it to the rampaging Sophia Harrison. Unable to put in a good ball. That is blocked by Kanjana Porn. She's been busy, Sophia Harrison, up and down the left flank. And now another opportunity for a throw. This time, she goes short to Jacqueline Savitsky. Her ball into the box. Giyu, or rather Quintley Quesada, just unable to make contact. I don't want to think too far ahead, but the Philippines has five defensive players on their bench, whereas Thailand's bench is a lot more attacking. So this game is far from done. Thailand will most probably not be happy that they haven't got going yet. I mean, we do have the home advantage, got a great crowd tonight, but Thailand have got to change something up in the next few minutes if they want to get themselves back into this game. McDaniel with a header. Quesada. Trying to poke that over to a teammate, her effort rewarded. Anis, they're going to find a bit of time and space for the Philippines over to Madarang. Savitsky now. Chance to breathe for the Filipinas. Coward, pinging that into the path of Bolden. Putting pressure on the forward, Serena Bolden squares it. What a chance. Tane Anis. Just not able to make the contact she wanted. Really unselfish play there by Bolden. Nice and strong. Thought she had fouled, but just had the composure just to pick a nice little cut back. And then Anis there. Oh, it's easier said than done in training. She's sticking that in the back of the net, but we have to put yourselves free to up. All sorts of things are going through your mind. And Serena Bolden, so difficult to keep quiet. She's physical, she's relentless. A nightmare for the center back. Crowd enjoying themselves, and why not? Daniel pulled into action. Past the halfway point of this opening period. Haley Long plays it back to McDaniel. Nervy moment for the goalkeeper, but she deals with it. Pataranan. Unable to keep the attack alive, and that's the first real moment of danger for the Philippines. Yeah, but Daniel did well to react in that scenario. Do you give him bold and something to chase? And Serena Bolden now on the ball, feeding Tane Anis. Through on goal? No. Shot Mani putting a stop to that. They're probing. They're hungry. They're looking for a third. Anis is having a really high impact game in the middle. She's involved with everything. She's got a great turn of pace as well. Just dictated exactly where she wanted the ball to be played. Again, the defense of Thailand struggling 
to cope with Serena Bolden. And this time, the blue shirt's finding a, a bit of joy on the left side. Baderang, winning the battle. Anis, able to turn, Bolden. Looking for Yi Yu. Hand goes up immediately in apology. Not on the same wavelength there. Two goal scorers Katrina Yi Yu and Jessica Coward, if you're just joining us. You see the energy here in the grandstand. It's an atmosphere that matches the occasion. Haley Long doing well. Ball not out of play yet. It's going to be a throw in for Thailand. Yeah, it's important for the defenders to stay switched on. Long doing really well to read that pass. It was a good pass in, good area. And over the last few minutes, Thailand just slowly building themselves back into this game. I mean, it was never going to be a final which would only go in one direction. Thailand are an exceptional team. Oh, the only team that remain unbeaten in this competition. Coward, able to sort out her feet and get it forward to Bolden. She's all alone against three blue shirts, but still manages to find a release. And this match, of course, the main event of a Sunday double header. And we already saw a nail biter earlier on. Seven goals in that one, Darren. A 4-3 victory for Myanmar. So goals have been coming in a flurry in this competition. And by no means is this done and dusted for the Philippines. Still over an hour of play remaining. Harrison. Panyasuk. There is going to be a fight back from Thailand. She's going to be absolutely central to it. Looking for the run in behind. Madarang alert to the danger. And one full back to the other. And Harrison with a bit of skill. And taking the contact from behind, but not enough for a foul to be whistled. Loose pass. Quesada looking to thread the needle, unable to do so. McDaniel off her line. Needed to be quick, Olivia McDaniel. Vic. Getting some distance for the Philippines as Giyu chases. Her effort paying off here. Serena Bolden is one on one. The shot is stopped. The Philippines turning defense to attack very, very quickly. And it was the effort of Giyu that made this chance possible. Another shot on target, this time from Serena Bolden. That's one of those scenarios where she didn't quite realize how much time and space she had around her. That's one of the things about this uh, Filipino team, the setup. Even though they've got that rotation at the back, they're, they're comfortable, they're calm. They've always got that option where they can just turn defending into attacking really, really quickly. Quick transition, nice and direct. When you've got a player like Bolden up front, she can make things happen. Now, Thailand struggling with the physicality of the Philippines. Coward wins the header. 
Vic looking to knock that one on. And again, Quesada not giving up on the play. Calling for the foul. That'll be five for the Philippines now, just two for Thailand. And it's been a tiring affair for the back line of the Chabakiao. And Panita needing a moment for a bit of treatment. The Philippines taking the opportunity to rehydrate and regroup. And again, it's been moments like these, Darren. They've been happening over and over again. It's just an unwillingness to give up on a play. Yeah, really pressing hard and making it very difficult for Thailand to settle. I think one thing we need to be aware of, though, is making sure the game efficiency is there, a little bit of game management. I'm not saying play negative, but every time that we counter really quickly, it's taking legs away from our forward players. And, you know, it'd be nice if we could keep a player like Bolden on the field for the full 90 minutes. So perhaps just find a way to be a little bit more efficient when we're attacking, perhaps the extra pass here and there. Easier said than done, this is a final. There's a lot at stake. No one wants to give the ball away in, the, in their middle third, in their starting third. So it's just really gonna be now about a little bit of game efficiency. Under 15 minutes now in this first half. Take it in without conceding. Thailand ready to continue. Nice little turn from Pramnak. And Thailand getting back to full strength here. As Panita is ready to rejoin the action. The atmosphere started before the first whistle and has carried on for over half an hour. You'd expect it to continue for another hour more. Thailand still looking for a foot 